Time for History Tonight at 5. Homicide crews called after a man is shot in the stomach. Tonight, those investigators are trying to piece together what happened. It happened in the 300 block of Edison Street near Euclid Avenue just a few hours ago. Marsha Bonhart live in the newsroom with what she's learned. Well, Katie, Dayton Police Sergeant Richard Blommel was not very talkative at the shooting scene today, but we do know the victim suffered life-threatening injuries. I talked with two neighbors, one of whom actually helped calm the victim after he was shot. One neighbor said he knew the elderly people who had lived in the home at 368 Edison, and they, they had died many years ago, and the house was now occupied by a great-grandson. We also know that, we don't know, rather, if that is the person who was shot. Now, another neighbor who was considered a witness by police told me off camera that the victim is 17 years old and was shot in the torso. That same neighbor said he heard four or five gunshots and ran to help when he saw the victim stumbling on the sidewalk. The victim told the neighbor, quote, I can't feel my legs, unquote. And according to a police spokesperson, the victim was taken to Miami Valley Hospital and had been in surgery earlier today. Now, the neighbor at the scene also said Dayton police had been looking for the victim because of his alleged involvement in crimes. Marsha Bonhart, 2 News, working for you.